It's another random Tuesday and I'm doing a random video because I can. Hi YouTube, it's me. I'm back for a random, you know, video, whatever. Um, and unlike literally any of the other ones that I've done in the past few months, um, about just, you know, random figure that I get and then I talk about them, that's all this channel is anymore. This one's gonna be <laughs> super short because this was the only thing that was like going to ship anytime soon from my pile of loot. So yeah, or that came in off of pre-order anytime soon, I should say. Um, and he's a remold, or like a slight remold. Yeah, <laughs> anyway, obviously you can tell who it is because of the title down there. I don't know what that voice was, but Studio Series 86, Ratchet. Very good, I like him. I'm probably gonna end up getting the repro labels at some point though, or the Toy Hacks sticker set um, at some point though. Um, just to honestly have something to fill in the window here because it's more noticeable on him than it is on Ironhide. Um, it was just off camera. Um, and honestly, like other than that, <laughs> there's not a lot to say about Ratchet here. Like, if you don't have the mold, it's good. It's probably the best Deluxe Ironhide and Ratchet that we've gotten in a long time. Because, well, I know, a lot of people liked the Siege version of it, but, like, this is the best, like, Earth mode Ironhide and Ratchet mold that we've gotten in a minute. Honestly, since Classics 1.0, back in the, like, the aughts. <laughs> um, but, like, simultaneously, because I've had Ironhide here for a while, there's not a whole lot to say in the video about Ratchet. <laughs> um, I mean, you can clearly tell the differences. The transformation is the exact same. Um, it's still slightly fiddly. Still pretty intuitive and fun though. And honestly, my only nitpicks are on, I wanna say it's this foot, I'm probably wrong. But this window panel for the back of the vehicle, um, of the times that I've transformed Ratchet here. Sometimes this one does pop off the little notch that it's on in here, which is annoying, but it's it slides right back in, so it's fine. Um, it's a very minor QC thing, and then Honestly, the white and the color matching is a lot more noticeable than the red is on Ironhide. It's still not the best because painted plastic, they painted the clear plastic for uh, the front of the cab, for the section on Ironhide, for these panels, which are the middle section of the roof before the arms. And uh, same thing with these panels that you can't really see, but it's... I mean, all the clear plastic parts are the painted plastic, and, like, you can tell, like, even just looking at Ratchet here, like, between the, the white plastic and the painted transparent plastic, it's just, it's a little bit more noticeable on him, and that just kind of bugs me. Um, he's still pretty cool, though. Like, he'll look very neat on my shelf next to, uh, next to Ironhide. So, yeah, honestly, I recommend him. Um, I do think he's a bit pricey, though, so... Black Friday sale, holidays coming up, whatever. If you can get them on like, I don't know, like, not even what Deluxes used to go for, but just like on a bit of a discount, then get him. Um, he's he's good. I like him a lot, and it's just it's nice having the little light bars there, uh, which are a separate plug-on piece compared to the little nubs that are on the back of Ironhide, because those still do kind of stick out on Ironhide. But anyway, that's Ratchet. He's nifty. Gonna milk this for a second longer just to hopefully get the YouTube thumbnail. Cool. All right, see you guys in the next one.